All right, let me show you guys how to tune your kicks, your snares, and your 808s using Parametric EQ2 and the built-in key menu. So first off, to access this key menu, all you want to do is right-click on a band, click the key drop-down, and it's going to give you the hertz value of every single key. And it's like something like 10 octaves in here, all the way up to like 19,000 hertz. Let's check this out. Let's get a kick in here. I've seen people use Edison for this, but I like to use Parametric EQ too. I think it's just a little bit more accurate. So there's our kick. What we're looking for is this low fundamental tone. So we can see right there, that's about 38 hertz. You can, you can read the value up here in the top left corner. So you put, it, put our mouse right there, about 38 hertz. We'll tune that. Stick it on D, full screen it. All right. So that's that's falling right into D pretty pr much perfectly. So we know that that kick, kick is tuned to D. Let's try this one. That says about 49 hertz. It's going to be G. Full screen it to double check. Looks a little bit flat though, right? You can see like like the real beat like meat of the tone is is above it. So let's go one semi ten higher. Right there. So we know now that that's tuned to G sharp. Let's try this one. This is about 41 hertz. That's going to be an E. Now say we like this kick, but our song is actually in F sharp, right? So we have this flat kick, but we know it's an E. So we just tune up twice on this pitch knob. And now we're in the key of F sharp. Okay, now we're moving on to snares. With snares, you want to look at the fundamental tone, the lowest, beefiest tone. So right here we have snare, to, like 240 hertz maybe. So B looks a little sharp. A sharp, let's try that. There you go. Looks like it falls right onto that, that A sharp. So that snare fundamental is tuned to A sharp. Try this one. Yeah, I think I, I tuned this already. Let's bring this back down. Okay, so about 220 hertz. I know that's an A. After a while of doing this, you'll kind of just memorize these values. I've always been good at remembering numbers and shit, but you don't need to remember the numbers. It's all right here. So that snare fundamentals tuned right to A. You know, likewise, if we want to down tune it to, let's say, G, we just move this here. See how it's, it's sharp now. And then we can just pitch it down, double check our work, tune right to G. Um, all right, let's try this one. Oh, it looks like that one's tuned right to G. Right where he left our band. So we know that one's a G. Now let's do 808s. So here, these are pretty easy. You're just looking for that low tone again, that low subtone. So this is about 43 hertz. That's going to be an F. You know, clear as day. F. That's going to be a C, 32 hertz. And last but not least, looks like that's going to be an E because it's 41 hertz. So yeah, now we know the tuning of every one of these and you can easily go in and adjust the pitch knob to make it fit your track. Um, that's about it. I'm not going to drag this on. I hope you learned something from this. Uh, I know it's a little bit different from how most people do it, but this is the way that I do it every single time and it works for me. So maybe you guys will like this. I know sometimes Edison can give a, a reading that doesn't seem accurate. So maybe if Edison isn't doing it for you in, in that specific case, 
bust out the parametric EQ2. This is just another way of doing it. Um, and it works. It works for me perfectly. So, all right. Peace out, guys.